Edison robot and their cable. These are the two things we'll need. I hope by this stage you know to bring your Edison robot and your cable by now. Yep, I can see most of you having that. Awesome, splendid. Okay, so um, before we start this class, we will probably spend the first 10 minutes um, seeing if anyone has anything to demonstrate. Um, in the 10 minutes, if you want to program in something based on what you've learned last week, uh, use this 10 minutes now just to demonstrate. I just want to see uh, what we've uh, learned from last week. So who would like to demonstrate? Or actually a better question, better thing. Who would like to press play on the Edison robot and see what your robot does? Who would like to volunteer? Raise your hand. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hamden, I can see you raising your hand. Okay. Um. Can you unmute your microphone? Oh, can, I can't hear you. Can you? Can you unmute your microphone? Hamden, you already unmuted. Yep. Yeah, can you say something now? No, I still can't hear you. Wait, are you on, are you on mute? Uh, hopefully we should move on. Okay, if, if that's fine then. Um, yeah, can you just show me what you've done? Like, can you just press the play button and just see what you've done? Yeah, it's a robot. Okay, um, does anyone else want to volunteer? Anyone else want to volunteer? So Look like I'm not. <laughs> okay, so basically from every lesson from now on, I want you guys to, um, or to do something on your own, uh, or just, um, just demonstrate something you've done from the last lesson. Uh, so we can see you just um, learning, learning the ropes and applying what you've learned into your own creation based on what you've learned so far. So that's the purpose of these demonstrations as well. Okay, Hamden. Okay, I can see you putting your hands up again. Do you want to um, try running your thing again? I think it's facing some issues here. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. Anwish. I can see you running this thing. Can I see your? Can you see you try running your um, Edison robot again? Okay, that's good. You managed to move forward a little bit. That's pretty good. Awesome. Oh, good job. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go back to my screen. I'm going to share my screen. Um, can everyone go on the AdPi website? So this website here. So I'm just going to paste this in the chat. Uh, wait, just I'm not sure where I can't, possibly they can't find a chat. Yeah, can everyone go on this website? Uh, I'll just find a way to paste on the chat. I'll just stop sharing my screen a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, Greg. Um, so message me directly was I just I just saw it just now. Um, okay, if you missed out on some lessons, I would highly suggest you revise it. Uh, previous week's lessons on YouTube, but we will be going over some stuff, uh, some very basic stuff. So, um, so yeah, so we'll be covering new stuff, but it will be based on stuff we've learned beforehand. But uh, for future references, if you want to revise, then just watch the YouTube videos that were sent out. Okay, um, I'll be sharing my screen again. So, if you have any issues or any um, any queries, uh, message the main chat for everybody, or just raise your hand, and then the um, um, the brilliant kids admin will um, let me know. Uh, yeah, because for when I'm, when I'm sharing my screen, I want to be able to uh, uh, to uh, see any messages you send me. So yeah, so yeah, I post the link, just go on this website again, um, and then just go on the thing, post, uh, press launch and pi, and then um, go to Edison V2 and start programming. So this is pretty much what you do. 
Okay, so um, just before we continue, right? Um, does anyone know what this what this do, does? Do you know what this will do? So if I find something called drive, let's just find an example. If we do add dot drive, and then there's a few parameters, we can do add forward dot forward add forward we can do uh maybe like add speed 10 and if we do distance say we can do because the distance is in centimeters right we can do like say 30 centimeters and then if i do another one something similar but if i go backwards If I do it backwards, what would this do? Can anyone tell me? Does anyone know? Adam, you raise your hand. Can you unmute? So the wild tree will make it um only go once well that's a good start but um before i tell the answer does anyone else want to give it a shot does anyone else want to try anyone understand okay greg Greg. I say, Greg, can you unmute? So um, it goes backward? Yeah, it goes backwards, yeah. What, what does it do beforehand? Pardon? What does it do beforehand? Um, it goes forward. Yeah. Can you describe the behavior of your robot based on this? So it goes at a speed of 10. Yeah. And the drive just means it um, it moves. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good, Gregory. Okay, so let's just do, I'll just, uh, first of all, we indent this left. And then if I run this code, what would this do? So um, I just ignore this. So what I'll do is uh, program this. So if you look at my camera, I'll make sure this is turned on. You see two lights flashing. You press the circle button here. Wait, you press the circle. You see two lights. You connect. And then you do program Edison. It's the special WAV file. So you press program Edison. It's programming. Since it's on EdPi, it will take slightly longer than normal. But bear with us for a little bit. And then it should make the beep sound and the light should be flashing again. So, yeah. so once, um, once it works, guess what it will do. When I press play, who wants to guess what it does? Gregory was on the right track, but does anyone wants to like fully explain what it does? Anyone? Okay, so this is what it does. I'll stop sharing my screen. And you can see my screen. Okay, we move forward and then move backwards. So I'll just put this again. You move forward, you move backward. That's three ten for 30 centimeters. So like the length of your ruler, ruler should be around this long. Three forward for 30 centimeters and backwards for 30 centimeters. Okay, so. Um, just going back to the code itself. Okay, so um, you move forward and move backwards. But the thing is, like, you, if you want, to, if you wanted to um, reset the program and to make it start again, you always have to press play. Go forward and backwards, forward backwards. But sometimes, like, you get too tired of just keep pressing this over again. You want to make the program do it automatically, do the same thing over and over again. So. 
you use this thing called a loop. A loop pretty much allows you to repeat programs literally in a loop, like repeat over and over again. So if we do this, before I um, before I run this, um, oh, you make sure you indent this. Because this is a Python language. Python requires indentation for it to work. So you press tab or you just press space four times. So you press tab or space one, two, three, four to make it work. So who wants to give it a shot of what they want to, uh, what this does? Who wants to have a guess of what this would do? Does anyone want to make a guess? Anyone? You can read the chat for the hint. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see the chat right there because I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, that's why I mean, I, I get the hint to them. Yeah, can you read some of what they said in the chat? No? Okay. So, what it would do, okay, so someone misses the chat, I can't read it. Um, what does it say? Callum say me. Alam, you want to talk or? Yeah, you want to try talking? Uh, yeah, I just got to type the code in um, the thing first, quickly. Okay, but do you guess before before running it, do you want to guess what it does? Oh, um, does it repeat it? Yes. How many yeah. times? How many times? You're on the right track there. You type in it. Yeah, you're on the right track. So pretty much this will make it run over and over and over again. So if you remember from our first class, this will make it run over and over and over again. So um, I'll demonstrate how it works and then I want you to demonstrate it. So if I connect this, yes. Uh, see two that's flashing. And then you press um, you press from Edison. You create the music WAV file. And then program Edison. And then it will take it slightly longer than normal. Yeah, and then it should be done. You take it out. If I stop sharing my screen, what will happen? Forward and backwards. It will keep going. Yeah, it will keep moving forwards and backwards, which will be forever. So it will keep moving until it runs out of battery. Uh, it will keep moving until it runs out of battery, or until you press this button, the middle button, stop. Or you also turn it off like this, but I highly advise you doing it. The best one is just use the um, the middle button here. So, okay, I'll I'll give you guys five minutes um, to pretty much make it work exactly the way I did made it work. So I'll give you give you all five minutes. If anyone is done early, just let me know and, and volunteer to demonstrate.
Okay, if anyone's done, just let me know. And if they want to demonstrate, also let me know as well. Yeah, I can see some messages. Uh, do you know what the messages say? Does anyone want to demonstrate? Everyone finish? Yep. Is anyone who hasn't? Okay, so who wants to demonstrate? Anyone finish the uh, copying? Uh, try to see the code and program it. Adam, Adam, you finish or you raise your hand? For the um, code where it's for the backwards one, for me, it's not working. It mm. says second error. Okay, can you, okay. Um, did you have to indent it? Had you indented the code? Never mind, I fixed it. Nice, awesome, good job. Okay, okay I'll give Lewis, you more minutes. Louis, okay, you unmuted now. Um, I just have a question. What's up, Louis? So, I've, so I've done everything. Yeah. And I've done the while true drive, ed forward, right, ed speed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, except when I press check code, it says um, zero comma zero syntax error unknown function device. So. You know how to share the screen? You know how to copy well, it. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I'll just, well, so you copy to the chat. It's, oh yeah, sure. Well, it's, I'm doing it on my computer. Okay, can you, uh, so, can you turn your iPad? Can you turn your iPad around so you can see the code? Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, you have to do ed.drive, that's why. Ah. Use ed.drive. Oh, okay. Thank yep. you. Try to see that, that works. Okay. Okay. Have a look. Does it work for anybody? Okay, Jen, I can see it working for you, Jen. Awesome. Anyone else? Okay, I can see Jen is working for you, Jen. Who wants to demonstrate? Okay, so, um, okay, before, and then who is, okay, uh, if, if no one wants to demonstrate, does anyone have any problems that they want to um, ask about? Okay, so I assume if there's no questions, I assume that everybody has this working. Sorry, okay. uh, there's one people, there's one yeah. student, Alex. Alex, okay, what's up, Alex? Alex, you have to unmute first. Yes, can you unmute Alex? Um, my, co my code is, 
it's cop it's copied from uh, from from the screen and but uh, it keep it kept saying that I have an error. Okay, the error. So what error do you have? Um, I don't really know how to read this word, but it actually it says S Y N T A X. Syntax. The syntax error. Okay. Okay. So it so, means you typed something wrong. Yeah, so you must have typed something wrong. Can you double check? Did you act actually copy the whole thing? Yes. Uh, um, I didn't type the wild true thingy. Yes, that's what you need to do, yes. Oh. Okay, you do wild, if you indent it, then, then that, of course, is in text error. Exactly, yes. Okay, um, does anyone has their working? Uh, Louis, they want to demonstrate. Louis, okay. I think it's his problem. Um, uh, I want to demonstrate now. So, you know how I said um, I made it drive forward right and forward left. Oh yes. Well, I've made it work. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll show you. Okay, let's see. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Oh, the code there. Oh, that's so good. Good job. Oh, okay. Mm. You do amazing. Like yeah. That's good. That's really cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, that's so good. good Asha, job. Asha, you have a question, Asha? Can you unmute? Yeah. Asha? No. Maybe. Penny, Penny, say your one working. You want to demonstrate or? Okay. Penny? Yeah, Penny, do you want to demonstrate? Okay. No, she doesn't want to. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now um, let's do something else. So instead of having it run forever, we can set a limit to it on how many times it will run. So basically, just let me quickly just load something out. Um, okay, so basically, I'll just quickly look over. Okay, so we can set like a counter. We will introduce a new thing called variables, you know. Variables is allowing you to store whatever number you want, you know. So for example, if you have like a, um, an age, you can say your age is equals to five or to 10. And then if you call age again, so if you want to use the, if you want to use age, you can use age multiple times. So like say, um, you can just call something for age over and over again. Uh, it will be more, it will make more sense later on, but uh, we can do something called, um, we can do something called count. We can start the count at zero. And then pretty much we want to be able to um, allow pretty much uh, this program to run only like say three times. After running three times, the program will stop. So to be able to do that, right, let's just do something called uh, this condition. Um, well, the count is less than three or maybe we can say, um, we can have this program called when to stop uh, equals to three. We can say when to stop is to three. So basically like this program is, um, will pretty much allow us to run. If you don't understand, that's fine. I'll explain to you in a little bit. So what it will do is it will allow you to have a starting count at zero and it will stop um, it will stop like when it reaches three times and stuff. So pretty much you will keep running until uh, it reaches the number three. So every time you run this code, you want to allow the count to increase by one. So if this is, um, if this is confusing, um, this will make more sense when I try to run the code. So uh, if you don't just, just uh, listen, pay attention right now. 
and I'll explain things much more slowly and it will make more sense later on. So um, I'll take questions after running my program. So what I'll do is I'll connect this. This is a more advanced concept, but you guys are older, so you should be able to understand this. So you turn this on, press this. I'll program it to Edison Robot. Is programming right now. It is taking some time to program and then it will be released. Okay, so now if I try to run this, you run only three times. So you run forward and backwards three times, run forward, backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards three times. So if I press this, you go one time, two times, three times, and it will stop. So if it doesn't make sense, I'll just do it again. So um, cause I put count to zero. Right now count is at zero. The count will be at one, the count will be at two, and the count will be at three. So let's try, let's try again. So it was zero, the count is at one, be a two, maybe a three. Okay, so uh, that's just the first thing, uh, first demonstration. Um, I'll just show you this again. So if you look at my screen and the code at the same time, you can see you'll be at zero. It will start at zero. Oh, sorry. Um, you gotta program this again. So you program this. It'll be at so pretty much. Um, sorry, this is. Let's have it. Okay, so we'll pretty much drive forward, drive backwards. It will. Increase the count by one, drive forward, drive back, increase the count by one to B equals to two, and drive forward backwards, the count will be equals to three. And then because the thing is um, three is not less than three, but it's uh, equals to that, so it will stop the whole program altogether. So if I change this number to say um, number two, it will make it run only twice. So I'm just gonna quickly, um, quickly just program this. Um, everyone, uh, it's it's quite important that you pay attention because this simple program you learn variable, you learn loop condition, uh, you learn uh, a few things. So yeah, pay attention. Yeah, this is, yeah, so it's a very important concept. So just if you don't understand. Uh, we have time to understand this, to make you understand this. So I'll just connect this, program this, and let it run. Then programming right now. Yep, I'll take this back. Okay, so what we will do is, what we'll do is, um, I'll just stop sharing my screen. As you can pay attention, it will run only two times. Um, so I'll stop sharing my screen and then just run this. Run one time and two times, and it will stop after two times. So, um, if you want, I'll copy, just copy, delete the whole code and then paste this code. So uh, just copy a, all this and paste. I have a question from Callum. Uh, everyone, if you don't know, just copy thing from the chat. Yeah. For now, uh, oh, yes. let's ask Callum. So first. basically, well, um, I'll just let me share this again. Yeah, so just delete this code and then paste it. Delete this code, copy the code on the chat and paste it. And then try running that. Okay, so uh, who has any who has questions right now? Callum first. Yep, Callum. Um, with the first one, I tried it, but and it, it worked and it got up to this one. 
wait. It got up to the. Did you turn your uh, backpack? Yeah, it got up to the solid lights when you plugged in the cord, but it wouldn't get yeah. any further. Like it wouldn't. It wouldn't like upload to the Edison. It wouldn't make the upload noise. Okay. Um. Did you previously did you connect this right? Have you connected these cables? Yeah, put this into the headphone hole. Yeah. Yeah, and then put the other end into the bottom of Edison. Yeah. And then you press the can program Edison button. Yeah. Can you, can you hear me, Stu Callum? Can you hear me? Take it out. Take it out. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you connect you so okay, so you yeah, so you when you press program Edison, do you see this uh, quitting WAV thing, right? Yeah. Okay, and then do you when you press program Edison, does it run at all? Um nothing changes, no noise. Okay, um, volume. Callum, you need to you turn on your computer volume. volume. You you read the instruction number two, your your computer volume mu must be at maximum. Yeah, or sound is. enhancement disable. Okay. If, it doesn't work, then, if it doesn't work, then I recommend you uh, turn on and turn off the Edison robot again. If it doesn't work, then change your batteries. Follow the number that. two first, Callum. Turn the volume to the maximum. Yeah. Okay, awesome. All right, I'll, I'll give you guys until um, 6.40 to try to get this working. And then um, and play around with this number um, if you can. So I'll give you go on to 6.40. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I just have to quickly go to the bar. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Hamden, Hamden, do you have a question? Can you unmute us? My one does not work. I tried and tried again. I even programmed it. It was not going to work. I even changed the batteries. Can you turn it on and show it to me? It's I turned it on. Turn it on first. It's working. It first. But, but when I put it, it's not going to work. Because you haven't programmed it. I did program it, but it's no, not going to work. When you program it, you need to turn... The, the sound volume, you need to plug in and turn the sound volume to the maximum. I told you. My volume is my volume is maxed and I programmed no, no. it, but when you connect the, the check-in and then you turn on the sound to the maximum. Not before you 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 not before you put uh, the, the cable in. You put it in and then you turn on the sound to the maximum. And then you hit program Edison. Then you will hear the programming sound. I it's did, like, but it's not going to work. You need to press the, the, the circle first, the circle button, and then hit program Edison. From, from what you show me, it, it's likely the problem on your side there. Have you watched the, the YouTube lesson number one? It looks like you, I, I don't hear the programming sound. That, that's where the problem is. I don't hear when you're programming it. They must have the, the, the like sizzling sound. I don't hear it. It means you haven't programmed it yet. Does it make sense to you? It looks like you haven't programmed it yet, Hamden. That's why, because you, uh, most likely your volume is too low. Try again. Uh, Peter, you have to unmute, Peter. Awesome, okay, does anyone have any issues? Uh, probably Alex. Alex, okay, what's the issue, Alex? I can't find the triangle the triangle sign on the keyboard. Okay, okay. So 
this is the uh, okay so it should be it's called a um, okay so it's a less than it's like a yeah so it's like a um, like a um, leftwards pointing arrow it should be to the right of the letter m so you just press shift m okay shift m you hold letter you... shift and then you press m yes next to it next to m Oh, you press shift comma. That's the better one. Shift comma. Oh, I found it. Yep, shift comma. That's right. Good job. Shift comma. Uh, Adam. No. Adam, can you unmute? Yep. Okay. Do you want to unmute? Oh, probably. Louis, you have a question, Louis? Louis, what's up? Okay, Louis wants to demonstrate. Louis, okay, just demonstrate. I like to demonstrate again. So I've made my, in the program, before I did forward, right, forward, left. Yeah. Now I've done forward, right, forward, left, backward, right, backwards, left. Mm -hmm. That's good. With the stuff, so show you how it goes. Okay, how many? Okay, so does it stop after a few runs, right? Yep. Okay. So it goes, it goes one, two, three, four, five. So when to stop? After five times, right? Yeah. Oh. So yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, kind of makes a C shape. <laughs> good job. Good job, Louis. Okay. Um, if you have, if you've done this, um, do this challenge and make it run five times, like Lewis. And Lewis, your challenge is um, change this number so your program only runs three times. Don't change this number, but change the initial number to make it run three times. Okay. Yesha, you have a question, Yesha? No, uh, I want to demonstrate. Okay, beautiful. Also, can you demonstrate? No, wait, uh, can you do it again? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 let's see. Oh, okay, speeding. This is forward left, right? Forward left. I think it's right to ring this back or something. Where is Asia? It's spinning, then moving right and left. Okay, so did you use forward left or forward right? Yeah, and then it moves forward and then it moves backward. Okay, so you use forward left? And then forward right, then backwards right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Okay, so uh, I'll give you one more minute. Does anyone have any issues? Uh, I think Hamden, Hamden tried raise hand again. Yeah, Hamden. Okay. I tried it again, but it's not going to work. Okay. So I programmed it, I programmed it, but it's not going to work anymore. Okay, what's the issue, Hamden? Mouse not gonna work. Oh, what, what, what happens if you press play? I I tried it, but it's not gonna work. I pressed the circle, then I programmed it, and then I tried to um. Do you hear the programming sound? Left and right. Do you hear programming sound? Yes. Uh, yes, but it's not gonna work anymore. Okay. Um, I don't can know you why. press the play button and put it down? Press the play button to see what it's doing. Can you try that? Can you try that? No, you press the play button, no, not, the, the, not the circle button. The play is triangle one. Okay, can you try that? 
he didn't say that, but instead of the button afterwards, he pressed the triangle button. So can you copy the code, do the exact same thing again, and then press the triangle button. Okay, before we move on to something more challenging, um, can anyone tell me what, how this code works? Uh, we got Adam here. Adam? Uh, can can, uh, can is, is, uh, is a reminder, can you make sure your background is, is quiet first? Because when I unmute you, uh, I, I really prefer a background to be quiet, otherwise affecting the class. Yeah, it's a courtesy reminder to everyone. Uh, Adam, you have a question? So for how to fix Callum's problem when it wasn't working for him. Um, have you tried to press the circle button before pressing program Edison? I believe Callum's, Callum's one working now. Uh, you press the circle button. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You're yeah. right. That's, that's a good point, Adam. You mentioned you pressed the circle button before then. Good job, okay. Adam. Good job, Adam. Awesome. So I'll tell you another way of writing this instead of having to do all of this. A better way. Um, I'm going to do a special command um, just to ignore everything that we wrote. We just do like a shift. Uh, we just pretty much do a shift three to get the hashtag. So everything will be ignored. And then I'll write this in another way to make it easier, to make it better. So we can do for count in range zero to two. And then we can do this. And it should do the exact same thing, but with less work. So this will happen when you try to do it. So I'll just connect this again. And then it's program Edison. Oh, there's, um, okay. Then we just have to do this. There are no errors. So yeah, we just do this. It does the exact same thing. So we just do program Edison. And then just wait for it to finish. And then I'll take this out and then pretty much show it on my screen. So yeah, so pretty much we run twice. One, two, it runs twice. Okay, so I'll give everyone a challenge to do this, but make it run four times. So I want to copy and paste the code. I'll let you go uh, type it out yourself and make it run four times. Uh, meanwhile, we have a question from Sam. What's the question, Sam? Samuel, you have a question? You want to unmute, Sam? Okay, so I tried it and I, I I know what, but for some reason, one of the wheels is not working. Okay. Um, the wheel is any of the wheels moving? Uh, so, Sandy. Oh yeah, you muted again. That's why. So. You there? There, Samuel. My yeah. Okay, so if it's not working, right, then. Uh, I think the best bet, like, is your light flashing and stuff? Yeah. But okay. there's these um, weird lights popping up, like, in the thing itself, like some red lights, not on where it usually goes, but in the middle of it. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I see, I see. 
there must be something, some issues. What I recommend you do is turn it on and turn off the Edison robot. I've tried that and it's not still not working. And then uh, if not, then I recommend you changing your batteries and making sure you put the batteries on the right way. Mm -hmm. Alex, have a question. Um, I don't really have a question, but uh, can I demonstrate? Yeah, sure, demonstrate. Yeah, uh, can you turn on the, turn off the background because we, we can't see anything. It's a bit blurry. Can you change the background okay. to make it not blurry? Okay. Good. I, I can see some uh, some people fixing the old problem now. It's really good. It's really good. Also. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, wait, can, you, can you do it again? One, two. Oh, make sure, yeah, make sure it doesn't fall down. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Um, it's awesome. Can you try making it run four times? Yeah, I'm really happy that uh, some of uh, our students actually solved their old problem here. That's what I oh. want to say. Awesome. Yeah. They hit problem and they solve it. That, 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 that's really good. Hi, you said it's done. Do you want to demonstrate hi? H-I? I don't know. I don't think that's your real name, but do you want to demonstrate? Can you type it in? Okay, no. Okay. So, I'll give everyone else a challenge after this. I'll give you guys one more minute to demonstrate. Does anyone want to demonstrate? Okay. Last but not least, I'll give you all a challenge. Uh, I'll give you all a challenge to pretty much allow your, uh, I'll quickly stop sharing my screen and I will just ask, to see if anyone wants to. Okay, I'll try to try to do this program here. And I want you guys to emulate that program. So this is pretty much his. And pay attention everyone. So uh, Peter will not give you the code. You just have to look at what the behavior of the robot and then program it. Precisely, yes. It's, it's quite challenging in that sense. So I'll just do, um, I'll just program the code and I'll give you this small challenge and see if you can do that. So this is what the, I want the challenge will be. I'll just program this right now. I'm sure you please bear with me for a little bit. Let's just see if there's enough um, space to do this. And then 
is taking some time to program. Sorry, Hamden, you must hear this sound, Hamden. You must hear this sound, yep. then your then, program is working. Now, if I run my code, just take this out here. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do. So it's pretty cool stuff here. Okay, wait, so this could be, just let me quickly change something a little bit. Um, uh, sorry, Peter, when, why are you doing that? Hamden, you must pay attention here that when Peter program it, you must hear like a seasoning sound. If you don't hear it, it means you're not programming it. Well, let's just quickly we do like hmm this would be interesting okay whilst I'm working this just keep playing around with the code whilst I just fix this up And then this is the sound you must look for, okay? Just bear with me for a little bit. Okay, so. So. Okay, so pretty much what, it, what I want you to guys to do is just be very simple. Very simple code, just basically go here. If I just press play, just let me turn this on. Yeah. It just pretty much like moves slowly to your left four times. So can you guys demonstrate that and even like that? And I will just put the code back to the way it is. So um, you can have this as a reference to what we did beforehand. So I'll just share my screen again. I'll give you guys into 657. At 657, we'll demonstrate and we'll finish class right on time at 7 p.m. Or to give you guys more time, give it five minutes. Starting at like starting now, finishing at like 6.58. So you have four minutes now. Uh, Alex say he's finished. Wow. Alex, you mean you finished? I'm quite surprised you can finish that quickly. Does anyone have any questions, any issues? Hamden, let me see. Hamden, have you solved your issue? Uh, uh, yes. Well, it's the same issue is going to come up again. So I programmed it, but it's just going to move just um, a square meter. So just one time only. Well, oh, now okay. I just, I tried it again, but it's not going to work now. Any questions? Does anyone have it? Look like your battery, right? It, oh, you, you programmed it? Huh? So did you did program it? I did program it. Um, It just moved a centimeter. Okay. Now then, I can't do it again. It looks like your battery is low. My battery is um, full because I just asked my neighbors if I can have some and they just gave it and it was new. 
Okay. Oh, interesting. At least you can program it. It's good. Aaron, you have a question, Aaron? Um, can you show it again? Because um, I didn't really get to look at it. It's so I programmed it because I like I can like show what the robot does. Uh, Peter, um, Aaron want want you to show the actual behavior of the robot? Is that is that your okay, question? Okay, give you guys two more minutes. Yeah, this will be basically allowing this to help a little bit. Can you please stop the crazy control on my screen? We're almost done. Please stop being like that. Who's that? Sorry. Peter, who is that? Okay, one more minute. Okay. Uh, before when we reach the uh, 68 mark, who wants to demonstrate? Anyone? Okay, 68 now. If you haven't got this, this is what I did. This is making it like turning slightly, slightly, slightly to the left. But if you want to make it spin, if you want to make it turn much more steeper instead of a little bit, you make it turn steeper. What you do is you do spin left. If you want to make it spin like much steeper and stuff. Awesome. Um, yeah, so this, this is just two ways you can do this. I uh, can pretty much write the code like this. These two ways are pretty much the same, but this way is much more, uh, more easier to understand. If you don't understand, um, just go through the video again. Um, so this is loops, so just slowly Go through this again and experiment with this at your own time. If by the next lesson you still don't understand, you can ask me at the beginning of the next lesson. Next lesson, I want you guys to have some stuff to demonstrate. So I promise to you, it will, um, it will get better and you understand this. This is the fundamentals of coding. So if you, if you can get this, you're way ahead of everybody else in coding. So yeah. Have a good evening, enjoy your dinner, and um, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next week. So see ya. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Bye. I will Bye. see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.